Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about uh, my interview experience as uh, a senior applied scientist or senior ML engineers. I'll take two template companies. Uh, one is Facebook and Google. And here the role is for senior ML engineer. And it has a data structures and algorithm coding screening round. Uh, it has two data structures an algorithm coding round, a system design round and ML system design round and a behavioral round and uh, another company Microsoft um, which has a very different uh, structure of interviews for senior data and applied scientists uh, it has an ML coding round uh, along with uh, an ML depth round uh, it has a round which uh, where you are given like a research problem and uh, they observe how you solve that problem and there's an uh, a round on ML breadth and ML applications there's one more round which didn't happen but uh, I can't comment on what was missing and there's one more round from hiring manager which has a behavioral round which talks about projects and career and all so this is the mostly the structure of uh, interviews for these two type of roles and I also wanted to share a couple of resources so, so first thing is that uh, I try to prepare uh, for these interviews but uh, you should also get the context that I have been doing it for a long time right uh, when I first started with machine learning it was somewhere maybe 10 years back or something but right now what I'm sharing is a distillation of whatever I know, what are the best resources. Of course, as a beginner, you should take all the courses you need to take. Uh, okay, so let's get started. So for coding, uh, what I did was I took a subscription from algoexpert.io and it was a pretty cheap package of I think $95 which gave you a bundle pack of system design course, data structures and algorithms course, and ML system design course. So, what I would say is that uh, the theory for these things are not that strong. It is very much focused on interviews. And for DSA part, it is mostly about uh, looking at the problem, trying to solve it on your own, then looking at the solution videos and trying to get that accepted. And for the ML system design, it's mostly a lot of case studies in this. And system design also, the theory is not much and uh, mostly it's case studies. And there are a lot of case studies for system design and ML system design. So overall, for $95, I think it's a good investment for someone. Uh, but given I'm interested in applied scientist kind of role, this may not be that useful, but again, industry trends are changing and I thought that okay I mean I should prepare in general for an ML engineer slash applied scientist role so that's why I looked a bit at system design also and I also wanted to share a couple of resources which I looked at in recent times one is called Holistic Machine Learning by Kevin Murphy uh, you can see this is a thick book but of course this is one of the best books i have on machine learning i would say it's not that easy to read but this book along with if you go to author's website you have uh, a book <coughs> by the same name holistic machine learning this is an introduction that one is advanced topics which will come out next year but the pdf is freely available so these two books i would say are the one of the best books i would touch if i had to give an interview and again, I have been doing it for a while. So this the introduction book, I read half of the book in a week or something, but it could take more time for the beginner. And there are many books which are good, but I would recommend these two because these are niche rules and you need to be pretty strong. So being able to read these kind of books quickly makes sense. Uh, another book I wanted to recommend is on optimization. Again, I have looked at many optimization books. A lot of them are theoretical, a lot of them are practical. Uh, a lot of them are code based and all but again uh, algorithms for optimization 
this is one of the best books uh, i included this into my list recently and again you can see this is not a very thin book but the best part of this book is that it has so many algorithms along with pseudo code in uh, along with code in julia that it makes sense to keep it on your shelf whenever you get time look at maybe couple of chapters if right uh, one more thing i wanted to add was uh, i have this printouts of uh, lecture notes uh, of CS229 uh, which is a machine learning course at Stanford and these lecture notes are pretty good I would say um, very easy to read uh, in terms of speed of reading I think you could read all these in two days or something uh, these are really helpful to brush up on the basics I don't have a book on linear algebra with me right now but long long back I had read it I've also seen a bit of lectures from Stephen Boyd from Stanford and uh, yeah I mean I wanted to so Kevin so first book on machine learning was also with some Kevin Murphy there's one more book uh, from Kevin Murphy called machine learning a probabilistic perspective this was the first book I read seriously again it's a very thick book and the book I showed you is like second edition of that let's say so this was the first book i bought it in i think maybe 2014 2013 and this book is the one of the major contributors of my maturity so again highly recommended but i would say that you could stick with the newer book uh, which came out this year and the advanced uh, advanced topics edition which will come out next year both of these pdfs are freely available on author's website if you want to go there so I would say that for machine learning, this is way more than enough. Uh, I also looked at some aspects of interactive system uh, where uh, what you have to do is basically uh, something like a Netflix website or something like uh, a recommendation system, a ranking system. These kind of systems are interactive system and it has its own nuances theoretical and practical i looked a bit at game theory by looking at some video lectures from team Rav garden you can go to his website he has all his courses lecture notes uh, links there and these are totally optional but if you want if you are interested in theory of optimization this book called converse optimization theory is pretty good uh, again there's an introductory book reinforcement learning by Sutton and uh, there's a new edition right now you can find uh, if you're interested in reinforcement learning that's a good book on beginner for beginners again this book uh, called dynamic programming and optimal control this is volume one there's another volume called volume two and this is again related to reinforcement learning um, and reinforcement learning has a lot of overlap with uh, dynamic programming in the purest sense um, because dynamic programming is not just about uh, the ones you usually solve in DSA it also has its uh, it also has an aspect which kind of covers the uncertainty aspects as well so that's more about uh, these are totally optional uh, some kind of advanced reading I would say but uh, you could look at these and this year I'm also focusing on uh, ML Ops and system design aspects. So for system design, I chose this book called The System Design Interview by Lewis Lynn. And I think this is a pretty good book to cover the fundamentals and high level uh, design interview aspects. It's pretty good. Uh, there's one more called System Design Interviews by Alex Zhu. Uh, there's a newer volume right now but i guess it's not available in india but yeah i mean you could look at these two books for interview prep uh, if you are more focused on fundamentals and your understanding the book called designing data intensive applications this is an excellent book for system design understanding and i've been also looking at banded algorithms uh, and there's this book called banded algorithms 
by tor latimore and again you can see it's a thick book but yeah i mean uh, this is one of my leisure reading if i had to read something on ml there's one more aspects of machine learning i'm interested in which is quantum factor and causal inference this also overlaps with interactive systems but yeah i mean uh, there's this book uh, which is interesting it's called causal inference and counterfactual and causal inference by morgan and winship this is a very popular textbook on this topic and it's relatively easy to read uh, there's one more book on causal inference i think the name is causal inference but again uh, i don't remember the author's name i need to check but yeah i mean these are the kind of readings i have uh, there's one more book uh, which is interesting called Trustworthy Online Controlled Experiments, Practical Guide to A-B Testing. Again, this is a very good book. Uh, it, it covers a lot of aspects of practical A-B testing at scale and it covers some counterfactual aspects as well. If you want to do an offline evaluation, it's called an offline A-B testing. So, yeah, I mean, these are some of my favorite books, I think. Uh, again, there are a lot of books uh, out there. And these are the ones I would recommend. And if you have a lot of time, uh, feel free to use these. But at least uh, I'll just quickly go through the ones I would highly recommend. Uh, Algorithms for optimization, highly recommended. Probabilistic machine learning, highly recommended. System design interview. Highly recommended. Designing data intensive applications. Highly recommended. That's it. So uh, basically other books are like totally optional. Uh, yeah, this is also I would highly recommend. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you are just looking at these five books, <coughs> I think it's good enough. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, that kind of summarizes what I had to recommend to people who want to prepare uh, regarding data structures and algorithms around I would say that maybe solve uh, 60 easy problems on lead code maybe 60 70 medium problems on lead code and maybe 30 40 hard problems on lead code if you want to succeed uh, in DSA rounds at Facebook and Google and you can focus it in Microsoft there's no DSA round for this role but again i cannot guarantee that it would happen to everyone maybe uh, it's customized to different people i don't know but at least for me there was no data structures around at microsoft and i'm recommending these books because i was able to get a role of senior applied scientist at microsoft uh, with this kind of material and i've been looking at these materials for a long time i've been looking at other books as well so yeah, I mean, it's not a shortcut or something, but if you are interested in this kind of career, I would say that you should do some serious reading. You could, uh, I mean, I mean, if, if, if you want to take an online course, I mean, a lot of them are pretty expensive. I would say that they will just get you started and that's it. The main skill you want to have is learning to learn. And the only thing I think, um, which can help you is by reading these kind of mature books and keep finding newer content to consume so that you are updated with the research developments, at least the mature part of it. Um, there's a lot of research happening in uh, click models. There's a lot of uh, research happening in counterfactual intersection, these kind of click models. And a lot of research happening in deep learning, reinforcement learning and game theory and all that so so basically the point is at the least you should look at the mature part of research uh, and usually through books or some research papers and you could select a small area of expertise uh, where you want to grow which you find interesting and you can follow that research area uh, more actively than others but yeah i mean these are the kind of advice i have for preparation there's no shortcut i think but Again, you should be aware uh, of your weaknesses and before the interview, you should touch on those weaknesses and maybe try to brush up on those 
and try to interview at a place where you are going in for your strengths and where you are given an opportunity to grow uh, yeah i mean i think that's it for this i hope this helps